Hello there, Ariel and David, and Chaim Meital, Daniel, Lee and Maya. I must admit I have a very unusual piece to share with you. And I'm gonna try my best, it's a little bit out of my pay grade because parts of it reference the Zohar. And it seems to be saying that there's an operating system going on that, it, that is really dependent on the, on the actions that you do. Not just what you do, but how you do them, how sincere, how genuine, how much when you're helping people and doing good deeds, is it sincere and genuine, you sort of get to access more kind of influence coming from above that when you need help, you can access more of this power, more of this shefa, depending on how you rate in what you do. So what we have here is a story. By the way, I should say that the Parsha Kedoshim is a very funny, it starts out, Kedoshim to you, you should be holy. What does that even mean that you should be holy? Well, of course, you could look at just the list and the Parsha it talks about being honest in business and helping the poor and the blind and the deaf and, the, and not taking, taking advantage of people's wages and all kinds of things between man and man, which are sort of giving you browning points and getting you to the point where you could say, Kedoshim, I am leading a holy, exalted life because I am, I am really trying to be very careful the way I treat people and my own integrity. Now, this is all about a story which I mentioned, which is very unusual. The story is about a certain creature, not part of the ecosystem. It's called a ruach, a spirit, okay? This spirit is somewhere, I think, between, if I had to guess, the animal world and the human world. And this spirit as the, is described by the Merish as something that is self-sufficient, needs no help from anybody, wants no help from money, and offers no help to anybody. This particular spirit just sits by a certain spring in a certain town, and that's all it does, it's self-sufficient. But one day, the spirit is threatened by a mean spirit. Not mean-spirited, but a mean spirit. And this mean spirit wants to kick the good spirit out of his spot so it can be positioned to actually do harm to human beings who live in the area. So the spirit needed help. But because that spirit is off the grid, it's not part of the system I was describing before. The system that human beings have, whereby the you know, the purity and kindness and the, the scope of their actions that they do, their good deeds, they are able to draw down from God certain powers and help. That's the way the world works. This spirit was not on that grid. So it realized, I can't help myself. So it communicated with a certain pious Jew and said, listen, this is what's going on. I'm being threatened by this other spirit who wants to actually harm you. And so this man said, okay, what do we do to get rid of it? And he gave them instructions, and it's interesting, the man had to do something and say something. In other words, he had to start drawing down this power from God by making a certain action and actually announcing out loud that, he's, that this good spirit should win over the other spirit and thereby draw about the power to get rid of it, and they were successful. And when the rabbis heard the story, they were very excited and they said, wow, this story shows that, the, that people who actually are designed and are created to help and to both help other people, help fellow man, and receive help, that they are actually drawing down from, from heavens based on the, as I say, the quality and quantity of their actions, as opposed to this spirit who was off the grid and not able to do that. And so it sort of exposes the world, the inner workings of the world that we live in. And they thought it was really a great story. I'd love to hear your reaction, but again, it involves the Zohar, Kabbalah, and it's very fundamental, but I can't say that it's something very understandable. I guess that's the nature of Kabbalah. You gotta dig deep 
to understand it. Once you do, you get certain insights. And I don't claim to have that information, but I'm sharing with you. Great to listen to everybody's comments. Love you all. Bye-bye.